Hello and welcome to Romance with Heart and Heat, your podcast and YouTube show for contemporary rom-com audiobook serials. I'm Marie Matthew, the author of the stories you're going to hear on this show. In this first episode of the show, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself and how I came to be writing contemporary romance. I jokingly like to refer to myself as a recovering zombie apocalypse author. <laughs> Um, and I'm, I'm teasing, but it's also very literal. I do have a zombie apocalypse brand with 20 published novels in it. I've been writing books since I was 12 years old. This is a lifelong calling. Being a storyteller is in my soul. And I've also written other books. I've written a young adult dystopian series. I have adult fantasy. I have children's fantasy. I have uh, a couple of adult books on writing. I counted it up the other day and I had over 30 published books. So I do have a lot of experience in writing. And like I said, this is my lifelong calling. So you're probably wondering how I came from a genre like zombie apocalypse and ended up in contemporary romance because <laughs> I don't think you can get two genres like more polar opposite than <laughs> blood guts, gore, and sadness versus like bedroom gymnastics and, and fun and, <laughs> and love and happily ever after. So they are so, so different. There's two main points to my journey that led me from writing zombie apocalypse to contemporary romance. And I should say the zombie apocalypse brand, it's still alive. I am still writing in that genre. So first and foremost, I, I've always loved love stories. So while I'm, I do love to read Apocalypse and Zombie Apocalypse, I've also always been an avid romance reader. And what's really funny is my husband and I share an Audible account. <laughs> so every time I bought a new Manchester cover, it would show up on his phone. <laughs> um, yeah, no secrets in this household. So that, that was always pretty funny. And a lot of my Zombie Apocalypse fiction did have sub subplots of romance. The, the stories aren't sexy but there definitely was a love story very um a lot of them do have that undercurrent of a love story and i have to say that that was always one of my more favorite parts to write it was always much more fun to write about people falling in love than somebody getting eaten alive <laughs> you know, or like torn from limb to limb so i've always loved romance and most recently, I would say in the past year, I really started to feel a strong calling to write romance. And even while the calling was getting stronger, I was resisting it. And the biggest reason that I was resisting it is because what I already mentioned, these two genres are so polar opposite. It's like I've spent quite a few years cultivating a zombie apocalypse uh, fan base. And like, how do you throw contemporary romance? <laughs> at an audience that likes zombie apocalypse. And the short answer is you don't, <laughs> you don't. So as this calling got stronger and stronger, it finally got to the point where I couldn't deny it anymore. So I created a new pen name. So obviously, you know, the pen name that I'm using for the romance work is Marie Matthew. If there's any of you out there that are interested in checking out my zombie apocalypse, there might be like two of you. <laughs> Um, the, the name that I write under for that brand is Camille Peacock. I'll link it in the show notes. Um, if you're curious at all to check it out. So yeah, that, that is the first part of my journey to how I went from being a zombie apocalypse writer and segueing into contemporary romance is I just, the calling both from myself, um, as a genre that I love and from the universe just got too strong and I couldn't deny it anymore. So I said, okay, <laughs> all right, we're going to do this. And the second reason has a lot to do with my writing process. I have some very strong psychic abilities and when I'm writing, I'm not just making up a story and telling you a story. I am also doing work for the universe. It's my service. I do something called psychopomp. And what psychopomp is, is working with traumatized and restless spirits and helping them find peace. So this is something that I do when I write. And I will, I'll give you an example of how that came through in my zombie apocalypse series. There was a a spirit that I was working with, he was a young boy who had been killed in World War, World War I. And he, what he really needed was to experience what it felt like to be a survivor because he didn't get to survive. 
And he, what we brought in together was a pretty gruesome torture scene. I should say scenes, it went on for chapters. I knew that this particular book was gonna have torture in it, but I thought it was gonna be off stage. And when we got in there, he was like, no, you don't get to close the door. <laughs> you don't get to close the door. This, this needs to be a full experience for me and the readers, right? Because war is, it's horrific on so many levels. And so what we brought in was this really visceral, horrifying experience of war through the form of torture. And in the book, he, he survives this experience. And that was really what he needed because he experienced these horrors when he was alive, but he didn't survive. So we relived them in the story and he survived on the other end. And that's really what he needed. That, that, was, that was the work that we did together. And it's interesting, he's still bumping around. <laughs> He's gonna come through in another romance book. We've been working together on another one. It's not the one I that you're gonna hear first, but I'll talk more about that later when we get into his book. He's kind of cracking me up. <laughs> I'm like, hmm, we're going from war to love. Well, this is interesting. Um, so that that's one example. Another example is I worked with a um, a woman who'd been sexually assaulted, and she what she wanted was a very visceral rape scene. Again, she she was not gonna settle for this behind closed door thing. At first I was just like, fuck no. <laughs> I was like, I'm not writing that. I'm not putting that in my book. And we kind of got into this, this war. It lasted a week or two and she was pissed. Like she was pissed. I don't have, I really don't have trouble with the spirits that I work with. They hang out, we work, it's good. She was probably the closest experience that I had to being haunted because like I said, she was pissed. I mean, she would scream and she would rage and she wouldn't drop it. <laughs> she wouldn't drop it. Finally, I was like, okay, okay, I'm gonna do this. Um, and it was hard. It was actually probably one of the hardest things I've ever written. Pretty horrifying. So much of sexual assault happens behind closed doors and because there's so much shame, it's so hidden. And she just needed to be seen as a victim and acknowledged at a victim as a victim. She needed acknowledgement for what she went through. I have to tell you, I wasn't sure how readers were gonna respond, but people love that book. So um, um, it, it went through okay. And uh, she comes to visit me. She's come to visit me quite a few times after we wrote that scene. So I am happy to report that she's good. She's good, you guys. Um, she, found, she found the peace that she needed. So as you can imagine, this, this type of work, it's heavy. It's hard. I don't always want to do it. <laughs> but it's so intertwined with my desire to tell stories. There's no way to separate this work that I do from my my drive and my compulsion to tell stories and and it's heavy it's really heavy so part of a calling to or part of the desire to write romance is to just be in different kinds of energy because like I said some of the stuff that I processed with the apocalypse like it's dark and it's heavy and yeah I don't know how sustainable it is on a long term I really don't so I did I, I wrote my first romance novel, as you know, because you're gonna hear it. <laughs> but the experience, it was, it was so incredibly different, like so crazy different. So writing Apocalypse and working with these highly traumatized spirits, it's like being in the fucking trenches, like in the mud, in the muck, really, really, really intense. And then here I am flipping over to this romance book and it's like, it's like sipping champagne and rolling on the beach. <laughs> um, Oh, I just, it felt so different in my body. Uh, it was so, it was so different to bring in. Um, and yeah, the, there was probably one spirit that came through the strongest that I was working with, but it was different. The trauma, the trauma wasn't the same. So I guess we'll, we'll just have to see how it goes. But, but overall, the physical and emotional feeling of writing a Happily Ever After was incredibly different and so joyful. And I, I like having the joy um, and the fun in my life and in my body. So that was the second reason that I segued from writing zombie apocalypse to contemporary romance. I hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit about me, about my writing process, and going forward, what you're gonna receive, like I said, it is gonna be an audiobook serial. So once a week, you will receive a section of the story. And then at the end, what you're gonna get is author commentary. So it's gonna be very much like what you got on this uh, meet the author episode where I'm going to talk about that particular episode and give you the story behind the story in that particular episode and just 
share my life as, as a writer and a creative and someone that also does work on the spiritual side. I also wanted to mention that part of the reason I decided to launch this romance platform uh, as a YouTube and a podcast show is I really want to be more interactive with my audience as a creator. So uh, I welcome your questions and your comments. You can either leave them in the comment section on YouTube or you can email me directly at romancingmarie at gmail. And I'm really gonna strive to answer questions and respond to comments uh, in the author commentary section. So if there's some kind of burning question you wanna know, shoot it to me and I will do my best to get it answered on a future episode. So thank you so much. I am super excited for you to start listening to my very first romantic audiobook serial, which will be dropping soon. So thanks so much, and I will see you soon. Bye.